Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be smoking some honey pecan ribs and I'm going to be using some real honey and some real pecans. You don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started on these honey pecan ribs. I am starting with two St. Louis cut racks right here, which means there's gonna be very little trimming, if any. In fact, the only thing that I'm gonna remove is probably this rib right here, which is really thin, and this one right here, which is covered with fat. So I'm gonna start with that. Now, if you can find these St. Louis cut ribs, it might be a better deal than buying the whole spare rack, especially with the prices of pork these days. So what I'm doing is cutting right alongside that last bone to give me the most meat possible for this rack right here. So I'm just gonna cut it straight, just like that. Again, there's a lot of fat in here, not good eating. And this one right here is a little thin. So same thing, just cut alongside that bone nice and straight. Just like that. The only other thing that I'm gonna to do to these racks is remove the membrane. And I found it easiest to just grab a paper towel and lift up on one corner. Now these St. Louis and spare ribs, it's a little bit more difficult to remove the membrane compared to a baby back rack that comes off pretty simple. It's almost like it's thicker, but this one's really thin and sometimes it comes off in a few different pieces. We'll see how this goes. Not too bad, but we're gonna have to come back for this little piece right here. There we go. Okay, so I've got both of the membranes removed from both racks. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mustard as a binder. Don't forget to shake your bottle like I did. Just a little bit of mustard. Don't forget to apply a little bit of mustard to the back side of the rib as well. Now I've been thinking about making these ribs for a long time. I've got a customer, Ceballos Honey, out here in Fabens, Texas. And they gave me some pecans and I've purchased their honey every time I get the opportunity to be out there in Fabens. It's the absolute best honey that money can buy. So that's what I'm gonna be using in today's recipe. The honey from Ceballos Farms and also their pecans. And I can't wait to show that to you guys. All right, so let's rub these down. I am using my homemade SPG, just a light layer. I'm gonna be using two rubs. This is just my first rub. If you want the ingredients to my SPG, they will be down inside the description box. Check that out. This rub goes on everything. And the second rub that I'm using today is from Chicken Fried Barbecue. This is his Texas rib grind. And I gotta tell you, Bill from Chicken Fried Barbecue is tearing up the circuit with this rib grind. And this is exactly what he uses on his competition ribs. It's good stuff. So I'm gonna go a little bit heavier with this chicken fried rub. Now you can use it by itself, and I have in the past, but I think this rub lends itself to layering it with another rub, like my homemade SPG. All right, I got my Yoda Y640 pellet smoker running at 275 degrees. We will see you guys outside. All right, I wanted to bring you guys back before I get arrested by the Season Your Sides police. This rub on the cutting board does not go to waste. Just lift up your rack and coat the edges, just like that. All right, now we are ready for the smoker. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've got my Yoda Y640 pellet smoker running at 275 degrees, and I am using Jealous Devil pellets. Now these pellets are a mix of cherry, maple, and hickory, and if you're one of those guys that can't tell the difference in flavor from one brand of pellets to another, I highly recommend that you give these Jealous Devil pellets a try. So I'm just gonna fill up my hopper because it's almost empty. All 
All right, so let's load up our ribs. Here's rack number one. Now these racks are really long, you see that? So what I like to do is just push them together, just like that. Now by doing so, you're able to cut these ribs. You see these little ridges right here? This is where you're gonna be cutting right here. Okay, that's the nice thing about squishing them together. They are also gonna cook more evenly when you push them together like that. Again, you can see the size difference right here. Okay, it's almost probably four or five inches but because we're gonna bring them together. It really thickens up that rib. And then again, you can see the ridges right here. And that's where we're gonna cut because there's nothing but meat right here. The bones is right here, okay? So just bring your racks together. All right, these are gonna smoke for two hours. I'll bring you guys back right before I wrap them up. Stay tuned. All right, so we have hit the two hour mark. I have not spritzed these ribs whatsoever. And there's a reason for that. Oh man, they are looking delicious. All right, so just grab your rack of ribs, put it on your foil paper right here. I'm gonna add six pats of butter on the top of the rack. That's really gonna hydrate the surface of the ribs. And I often get asked, how do I keep the rub from coming off the ribs? Well, this is the way I do it, okay? So just put the ribs bone side down and wrap it up. That butter's gonna melt right on that surface and drip down to the bottom of the ribs. Fold your foil paper over and place it back inside the smoker. We'll see you guys in about an hour. Stay tuned. All right, so the total cook time has been three hours. Two hours unwrapped, one hour wrapped with a little bit of butter on the top. Let's take the ribs out of the foil. Oh yes, nice pullback, all that butter on the bottom of that foil. So I'm just gonna take these out of the foil and back onto our smoker. All right, so as you can see, these ribs have a ton of moisture on the surface. That's coming from the butter and also the rendered fat. So I'm just gonna let the surface dry up for about 15 minutes. So just gonna slide the ribs back inside the smoker. We'll be back in about 15 minutes. Okay, so the total cook time has been three hours and 15 minutes. And 15 minutes since we took the ribs out of the foil. So I'm just gonna slide the rack out and time to put our glaze on. So I'm just gonna flip these ribs upside down. Ooh, these are cracking already. These are really nice and tender. All right, so for the glaze, I am using the Suckle Busters Honey Barbecue Glaze mixed at 50-50 with some real honey, okay? This is a real honey from Ceballos Honey. And I just warmed it up in a saucepan. And I do have it right here in this convenient squeeze bottle. So just gonna squeeze some on the bottom side, just a little bit. And I do have some foil paper on my bottom rack, just to catch any extra sauce that may fall down. All right, so let's sauce the top of the ribs here. So I don't wanna brush the sauce on because I don't wanna disrupt that rub. And trust me, this sauce will spread all over the place. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. And the next step is I've got some crushed pecans right here, also from Ceballos Farms. So we're just gonna sprinkle some of these on the top of the ribs, just like that. This is gonna add some really nice texture and also flavor to our ribs. All right, so we have our honey barbecue glaze on the ribs and also these pecans. Just gonna slide the rack back in, let those pecans get nice and toasted for about 10 minutes. Then we'll see you guys inside. Stay tuned. All right, so the ribs are ready and the total cook time was right at three and a half hours. So I just had them resting for about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna pull this rack right here and that's the one that we're gonna slice up. Ooh, and this is sticky and extremely tender. All right, so first of all, these ribs look and smell absolutely amazing. I know that these pecans got a little bit toasted, so that's gonna give it some extra flavor and got some really nice pullback. And as I mentioned earlier, when you pull your ribs together, they get really nice and thick, and that's what we have right here. So you can see the meat right here in between the bones, and that's exactly where we're gonna slice. 
So I just got my Dell Strong slicer right here. And some of the pecans are gonna get in the way, but some of them will get sliced in half. Look at that. Look at how tender these ribs are. It takes very little effort to cut these bones right here. All right, let's take a look at these ribs right here. Look at that. Tell me that does not look delicious. Really nice smoke ring. You got that honey glaze on the top and the pecans. This is an absolute savage looking rib. Let's give them a taste. All right, so I got my thumbnail picture done and I cannot wait to dive into these savage looking ribs. Here we go. All right, let's give them a taste. Mmm. Wow. So I've been thinking about making these ribs for quite some time and I cannot believe it took me this long to make them. These are so full of flavor and that sweetness of the honey and those pecans on the top, man, it gives it a really good flavor. The other thing is notice that smoke ring on these ribs, okay? That's that cherry wood that's inside the Jealous Devil pellets. Let's give it another taste. Mmm. So talk about a flavor explosion. These ribs definitely have it. Now these ribs right here are definitely outside the box of the normal type of rib, but they are absolutely delicious. You got that smokiness on the rib, you have the sweetness from the honey, and that nuttiness from the pecans. These are absolutely delicious. Thanks again for watching my honey pecan rib video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If this is your first time here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, ask them down below. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.